What's up everyone, Aaron Nagler here, PackersNews.com, on the road, as it were. I have had an adventure of a day, um, but just because I'm up and away from both Green Bay and my home doesn't mean that I don't want to talk to you fine folks and see what's on your mind when it comes to the Green Bay Packers, who just took the practice field again for the first time since their exhibition opener. Uh, getting a bevy of people back on the practice field. Everyone from Kevin King to David Bakhtiari, Mike Daniels, Mo Wilkerson, et cetera, et cetera. Jair Alexander, whole lot of people coming back for the Packers today. Um, but like I said, I've had one hell of a travel day, but uh, I did want to jump on for a few minutes and see what's on everyone's minds. Hello from Seattle. What's up, James? Hello from Cape Cod. Hope you're well. Eric, what's up? Ken. What's up, bud? How are you? Am I hanging out with Gilbert Brown after this? Um, no. I am not. You're not watching Tiger? I don't watch golf. Or play golf. Golf is a good walk ruined. Which I believe is accredited to Mark Twain, but I don't think anyone really knows if he said that. Any BBQ going on? As soon as I'm done. <laughs> on a Sunday? You bet. Packers talk never sleeps, man. Okay, there we go. There's some Packers questions. Um, Geronimo might not make the team, question mark. I would be absolutely shocked if Geronimo Allison doesn't make the team. I know uh, Valdez Scantling having a big day uh, against the Titans has got people talking, and Jake Kumaro being talked up a lot by 12 has people talking, but look, Geronimo Allison is still the third best wide receiver on this team. Um, it's going to take a whole heck of a lot more than uh, a few promising exhibition outings for him to lose his spot on the roster. Not to mention the fact that he contributes on special teams. He's on kick coverage and uh, runs second unit and a few others. So let's just slow down on the Geronimo Allison speculation. What's up, Dennis from Rippon? How you doing? Virginia, my Sunday has been crazy. Uh, I had a flight to Cape Cod canceled by JetBlue, which was the only one. So I had to scramble and couldn't all the cars in the area had been rented, so I got a Peter Pan bus up to Cape Cod, which took forever and uh, basically broke down at one point. So it's been a day. D'Angelo Yancey had a decent game, too. I agree, and I think he's had a pretty good camp. Hunley should be traded, question mark. Edward, I've gotten that question quite a bit, actually, in the last kind of day or day and a half, and I would not be surprised if the Packers put out feelers, and I wouldn't even be surprised if someone or a team or two called, you know, to gauge whether Hundley was available, which I think he probably would be, but I think most teams are going to balk at giving the Packers anything, knowing that there's a good chance that if Kaiser wins the job, that uh, Hundley will be released. So while I think uh, there may be conversations about it, I'd be very, very surprised if anyone pulled the trigger on either side. <laughs> Talk about the near-lock certainty deal that Packers have for Mac. Man, I love how the Khalil Mac stuff has just taken off. I know I saw earlier today Odd Shark put out odds for where Mac will be playing, and the Packers are the favorites. Which, of course, as we all know, Vegas likes to get people talking and betting. So that's what that's driving. Hunley's pocket awareness needs improvement. Thoughts? Yes, I would definitely agree with that thought. Um, I think we saw more evidence of that on Thursday night. Um, whether it's it's not even just about knowing where the rushers are or sensing where they where they're going to be on say a five or seven step drop, but just the innate ability to feel whatever's going on in your periphery and to step up. Um, I think on the interception, his first the interception from Thursday night. You know, that's an instance where if he slides up a little bit, he probably makes that throw rather than have the ball knocked out of his hand. But, you know, I, I think overall Thursday's performance was actually a bit of an improvement from last year. And I know a lot of people are going to say that's a low bar, but all you want to see is progress, incremental or otherwise. Is Don Barclay still on the team? No, Zach, actually, uh, Barclay just signed with the Saints, I believe, last week. Who are the starting quarterbacks this cornerbacks this year? Um, you know, that has yet to play out, but my hunch and my bet would be 
Uh, you'll see Tremont Williams on one side, Kevin King on the other, provided that he's healthy, and Jair Alexander in the slot. That will be preliminary to how they line up. That's my guesstimate. Has King returned to practice? Yes, Kevin, he returned today, along with Jair Alexander. Hey, Joan, how are you? Can we become one with the universe, Duncan, only when we truly learn to let go? Uh, what kind of beer is sitting on the table in front of you? Nothing yet, but uh, it's on its way. Do you believe Kenny Clark and Kevin King have all pro or pro bowl potential? Uh, yes, to both, for both. Uh, thoughts on Chad Kelly's performance last night? Uh, I thought he looked better than Paxton Lynch. Which backup quarterback was most impressive Thursday? Well, Tanner, it's hard to say because they're thrown into such different situations and working with such, you know, against different competition. I mean, you can look at uh, Tim Boyle's performance and go, holy cow, look at him tossing it all over the yard, but he's playing against guys who probably won't be in the league this year. Um, I thought Hunley looked good. He looked in command. I thought the throw he had rolling to his left where he, you know, fit it, into a tight window to Equiminius St. Brown. It's probably one of the best throws I've ever seen him make. Um, that said, I thought you saw the potential in Kaiser. Uh, the athletic ability is definitely there, and the arm strength is definitely there. Um, probably had a, one or two errant throws, but for the most part, you saw kind of saw a glimpse of the potential the Packers have been kind of talking about since the guy was in college. So, you know, I'd probably give the edge to Hunley just because he knows the system and seemed to operate things a little bit better, but uh, I thought Kaiser showed real promise. Cole Madison news, nothing yet. You need to have your kid paint that fence white. I would if this was my place. Uh, aside from Pipkin's tip pass on his blitz, how did he look in game one? Mitchell, I thought up and down. Um, I thought he actually played below his standards, or at least the standard he set last year. Um, there was a, there were two routes in particular, two out routes, two outbreaking routes that gave him trouble. Um, but for the most part, I thought he had a you know solid night. Does Aaron Rodgers see the field Thursday? That is a hundred million dollar question right there. I would doubt it, but they surprised us last year when he played in Washington in the second preseason week. So I guess it's a possibility, but I would be very surprised, especially as they're still trying to you know ascertain which backup quarterback they want to end up going with. Do you think the Packers have any chance at Khalil Mack? Should they have a chance? Sure. Do I think they make that call? No. Um, how did Bryce play? Hey, it's such a limited time. I thought he played okay. He looked physical, but you know, it's, I mean, he was literally just a handful of snaps, so I would not put too much into uh, evaluating them. Do you see MVS getting a chance to start opposite Adams? Whew, that's a big jump to go from catching a couple balls in preseason to starting. Um, you know, he's one of the guys that Aaron Rodgers was talking about when he went on his mini rant at the, in the locker room on Wednesday or Tuesday um, when he was talking about repeated mistakes. Uh, you know, I don't doubt that MVS has all the physical talent in the world, but you've got to be able to play. Uh, at a high level in this offense, knowing all the adjustments, not only before the snap of the football, but also after reading coverages the same way 12 does. There's so many intricacies that are involved that I can't sit here and say, yeah, he's ready to step in week one. It's clear that Rodgers doesn't think so. So those are the things that, while it's exciting to see him produce, uh, and it's exciting, you know, touchdown catches, etc. You know, what you're not seeing is all the classroom work, all the mistakes, all the things that, the, the minor details that all add up to, um, you know, reasons not to put him on the field, at least initially. Uh, we saw that with Jeff Janis, you know, a guy who sh showed physically he could do the job, uh, but he could never be trusted to be put on the field. And I'm not saying, I'm not putting MVS in that category yet, but, uh, you know, you got to earn 12's trust. And not only 12's trust, but the trust of the coaching staff. And these things all come together and get you on the field and get you opportunities. Uh, Tim Boyle practice squad. Travis, I tell you what, 
it's going to be interesting to see if he gets a few more opportunities and produces the way he did on Thursday night, they could have a Taysom Hill type like situation where they have to worry about, well, if we cut this guy trying to get him on the practice squad, someone's going to pick him up. Now, obviously that's a good problem to have and that's down the road now, a couple of preseason games away, but I think he's played himself at least so far into consideration for the practice squad. I think he's got to continue to you know, show. Um, but yeah, I think the chance is there, but a whole lot. All right, guys, I'm going to jump in. My phone is jumbling up a total mess here, but uh, thanks so much for jumping on. I'm sorry if I couldn't get to your question. Um, it's always amazing how many there are, uh, especially on a Sunday afternoon, but you guys are diehards, and that's why I like to jump on and talk with you. Um, thanks so much. Make sure you're checking PackersNews.com for all the latest. Guys, I have everything up from this afternoon's practice. I'll be back tomorrow. In the meantime, you guys have a great night.